Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello. Good evening. I can hear you. I can hear you, Wendy. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hear, hear me. <laughs> Uh, I say good evening. Good evening. Oh. Okay. How have you been? Tell me. How do you feel today, Hardy? Hello? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening teacher. Hello, Ana Beatriz, how, how do you feel today? Better? Yes. Yes, todavía estoy mal, teacher. Yeah, I can hear you, your voice. Me hizo bronquitis. Oh, my goodness. Me han estado dando terapias, pero no me conecté jueves y viernes porque me dormí. Oh, okay. And let me see the tenants.
Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. Hoy voy a estar de oyente porque esto es mal de salud. Oh, really? Voy a estar de oyente porque esto es mal de salud. Okay. Solo me lo hubiese agregado el listener ahí para al momento de hacer alguna actividad saber de que está ocupadita o que tiene algún problema de salud. Ok, teach. Cuando tienen, uh, cuando escriben listener generalmente no es que no se tomen en cuenta, sino que se sobreentiende de que están eh, imposibilitados de poder estar participando y por eso algunas veces eh, no se les llama precisamente por eso, porque se sobreentiende que están ocupados en algo o que por X o B problema no pueden. Así es que aclaro eso para que no haya malos entendidos. Ok, veamos. Let, let me take a look at the attendance. Ah, and, and, and talking about that, let me see. By the way, I need to talk with you about the, the grades. I don't know if all of you complete the, the midterm exam. When I check it, uh, uh, I saw a lot of people missing this activity. Okay, Adriana del Carmen. Adriana del Carmen. No está. It's not here. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ana Lilian is there. Say hello, Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Okay, Reyes. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Escobar. Present. Selena. I present. Okay. Diana Stephanie. Present. Eric Orlando. Present. Jose Jonathan. Present. Okay. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. María Elena Guadalupe. No. Eh, Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Mayra Peralice. Mayra Peralice. No. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Okay. Santos Misael. No here. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima Santos. Jenny. No here, Jenny. Yesenia Lisset Asensio. Present teacher. Okay.
Ok, antes de iniciar en español voy a decirles lo siguiente. Uh, he revisado sus notas hasta cierta fecha. Cuando lo hice todavía uh, le hacían falta algunos. Eh, el midterm exam. Déjenme verlo ahorita antes de que iniciemos. Para así estar seguro de que de que ya la mayoría lo tiene. Okay, right here, right now, is the rain and it's starting. I don't know there in your areas. Okay, permítame un segundo. I got the, the book is great. Okay, veamos el libro de calificaciones. Adriana, solo completó la primera semana. Lo que quiero revisar es lo del midterm. Ana Lilian is missing. According to my, my info, Escobar. Is missing too. Mañana me pongo al día, teacher. Okay. Juan Carlos. Me too, teacher. This week. Mayra Veralice. It's not here. Let me see who else. Veamos quién más hace falta. Jenny. Jenny no está. Ok, Jenny Suleima. También nos hace falta. And remember, we are starting the week number four. Estoy revisando también semana, semana tres. Aún no hace falta. Solo han completado la uno y la dos. F. Martínez no ha completado ninguna. Eh, Carlos Rivas no tiene ninguna. No, teacher. His week me pongo al día. Ok. Ok, got it. As I told you, right now, here is. It is raining, I don't know, in your area. Maybe I'm going to make it 
to hear you in the right way. Let me try to get a bit. Oh, hello, hello, tell me. Yes or not? Hello, I can hear you. I can. I need that somebody speak in order to, to be sure that. Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, let us start now. Okay. Oh, I got it. Uh, today uh, we are going to make a midterm review in practice. As you can see, we have uh, some problem because I already have some student that uh, they need to take the midterm exam. And it is not fair that we make a review and see also the, the answers. I need to wait until all of you take the midterm exam. In order to continue today, we are going to work in exercise number three, page number 23. If you got the material, you can see this exercise, discuss the following checklist with areas to consider when evaluating your third party, your logistic candidates, which are the most important. Let me show you in the material. I told you to study the Okay, we have it here. This is exercise number four. You need to discuss the following checklist with areas to consider when evaluating your third party logistic candidate, which are the most important. We have uh, seven different aspects here. And what you are going to do is that you are going to work in group and then you are going to discuss and you are going to check it. For example, they are financially stable with a long history of successful operation. If you say no, you need to give me uh, the why's. If you say yes, you need to explain me why. Okay, let me see how many people do we have now. I don't know if you don't have it, make a screenshot now because I need that you talk about this. Okay, I'm going to stop. I got 15. Okay, let me create a breakout room.
about the listener, don't worry if you are in a group. Uh, don't worry about it. Okay, I don't know if you have a question before we go to the breakout room. Hello? Any question with the interactions? I don't get the screenshot. Can you? Yeah, I'm going to share it again. I'm sorry. You are there. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, any question? No questions. Okay. Teacher is in general uh, uh, items. Oh, that's um, yeah, items. Yeah, in a general way. General. Yeah, the most important thing is that you you you, you need to understand the, the interaction. Discuss the following chat with areas to consider when evaluating your third party logistic candidate. And you need to remember that we were talking about how to how to choose, how to contract, you know, and and, and we need to take into account different aspects. And you are going to remember it in order to continue doing this activity. Okay, let me see how many minutes you are going to. Okay, let us, let us do it in 10 minutes. Okay, here we go.
teacher. Este es un mesa acá y me entra y así está. No sé qué es lo que realmente pasa. Permítame un segundo, la voy a reasignar al, al grupo 1. Ahí estaba. Sí, para ahí la envío otra vez. Ok.
Ok. Let us see what you have there. Okay, let me ask you, I'm going to see. Okay, group one, Diana, Juan Carlos Maria Concepcion, what can you tell us about? For the number one, they are financially stable with a long story of successful operation. We put yes. Okay. Also in the other ones, except the seven, we put no. Number seven? Yes. Okay, they have lead leadership in energy and environmental design certification. Mm -hmm. We put no, and in the other ones, we put yes. Okay. And could you share with us or somebody of your group the reason why you use, uh, put no in number seven? Uh, because we know that lead is a provide point of system to score green building design and construction. So it's not necessary for for be a, a third party logistic. Each, each uh, a plus, but not necessary. Okay. Let us see, I got the name here. Let me, let me ask direct questions. Okay, let me stop sharing. Not in that way I can see it. The names, um, Juan Carlos Rivas, are you there? Could you tell us uh, why, according to the fair participant said that uh, God yes, in most of the other item, only yes in seven day, you had no. What about uh, number four? They offer crowd adapting capability could you explain us what 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 does mean any, for, any idea for that, related with that it, for us is a products for a supplier they are distributed directly to a customer retail chain with marginal to no handling or storage time. Okay. It's, it's necessary. It's necessary at that point because the, the product from a supplier. Depend sometimes to a storage time. Okay. That's only teacher. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let Let me see from group number two. Okay, a volunteer who wants to talk about 
I got Carlos, Misael, and Yesenia. What can you tell us about? In our case, teacher, we have, for example, number one, number two, and number three. We decided as a yes point. Okay. We have number four and five with no, and six and seven as yes. As yes, okay. Okay, I need that somebody explain as per the nose, four and five. Teacher, we, 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 we think that the, um, the offer cross talking capability, we put no because uh, depend of the product. E number five, uh, you, same, depend of the product because it, if the product are a lot of or very mm, pesado, como digo? Really heavy, heavy? Uh -huh. Need the two point. Okay, somebody else want to add something? Also teacher, I was looking for the 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 word cross docking capability, and I saw a picture where where the product came to like in a small um, like in a small uh, place where they distribute or classify each product, and we decide as no because. Um, if, the, if there is only one product, I guess it, it will not be necessary, but it depends. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Let me see somebody out in another group. Okay, row number four. I got an Alilian is listener and Eric and Laura. Okay, what can you tell us about? Do you have in the same way or maybe in a different one? Okay, tell us. Hello, Laura. I don't see Laura. Hey, teacher, <laughs> they say, they say, uh, they say opinion, teacher. Uh, number one, two, and three, uh, yes. And four, uh, no. Five is six, yes. 17, no. Seven, seven. Seven in la cosa. <laughs> seven teachers. We, yes. don't, we don't have 17. No, 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 it's a 10. <laughs> seven teachers. My goodness, I said, okay. And then any reason why you decide that? Uh, for numero four. Uh, the cross docking capability. <laughs> uh, no consider for uh, no consider essential is uh, el cross docking for remove the storage link on the supply chains in between the uh, the products are are from a truck or railroad car 
uh, directly uh, other otro uh, other uh, car or transportation teacher. Okay. Does it? Yes. <laughs> Only this. Uh huh. What about number seven? Uh, no necessary certification. Uh, lead, lead teacher for use uh, 3PL logistics. Do you consider it's not necessary? Yeah, uh, no, no necessary. Yes, teacher, co po como grupo. <laughs> I know, hablando por todo. Ah, okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Well, some of you uh, got a different point of view related with this. At the moment that you are going to choose a CPL, I don't know if somebody will want to say something related with this. Because uh, first of all, that we need to see is right, if right here in El Salvador, we have leak certification. I don't know, you that work in different companies, maybe you, ha you can have a better idea than me because you are in the, in the point. If we talk about certification, could you mention, could you mention some certification that your company has? It's a general question. Hello. No idea related with this. What about you, Carlos Escobar? What about your company? Any certification is needed? Yes, teacher. Yes, it's necessary. Ah, okay. Could, could you mention Sonos then? Maybe you remember something related with that. Or somebody that remember it. I no, don't remember the teacher, but yes, the three or four certification, others, the uh, areas. And another areas? In, in the in the quality in the operation in the transportation in um, remember the others. Okay, somebody else maybe. Hello. No idea related with this, this. Okay. If you don't remember, it's a homework for you. Try to, to, to get information related with your company and what kind of uh, certification your company has.
Okay, hold on a second, please. In order to continue, we are going to work. I remember I uh, I asked you also to discuss in pair about distribution need of a successful international company, but we are going to talk about this later on, but let us continue with this topic. Based on page number 24, You are going to work in exercise number four. Let me show you what you are going to do. Okay, this is exercise number four in pairs. You are going to create a checklist with 10 to 15 uh, Item to evaluate a tier party logistic provider. Use item from the checklist in the previous page and add other you think important. And you got it here. You need to think about that. It's up to you if you decide to write down on the just 10. Don't worry, but if you say, no, we are going to write down 15, okay, you are going to do it. But I need that you understand what we are talking, what we are talking about. And also maybe you can use one of the previous lists. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I don't know if you if you want to make an screenshot related with this. I'm going to check again. Okay. You have it here. It is space number 24. And try to do it in a if you have PowerPoint, it could be better if you do it that way because then you need to share it. And we are going to talk about the, the list that you have with, with the rest of the class. How many minutes do you consider that you need in order to do this activity? Tell me. Let us start with 10 and then we are going to continue, right? Okay, teacher. Okay. Allow us to share the screen. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do that too. But let me see, uh, I need to recreate. Or, yeah, we can live in the, in this in the same way, but let me see. I got one more. I'm going to recreate it. I guess it's gonna be better if I put four. Let me see how many groups do I have. Okay. In room three, I got uh, one listener. That means that is they are going to be three. And room four. Okay. Let me assign you ten minutes to to do it. But before I go there, I need to check up again the attendance. Hold on a second, please. Wait, 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 wait.
Okay, Adriana? Not here. Eh, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Okay, I'm sorry. Carlos. Present. Selina. Present. Okay, Diana. Eric. Present. Present. Okay, Jose Jonathan. Present. Juan, Juan Carlos. Present. Laura. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. Eh, María Elena. Present teacher. Ahí está María Elena, sí. María Ernesto. Present teacher. Ok, Mayra Veralice. Mayra, Mayra, Mayra. It's not here. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Misael is here too. Misael. Yes. Ok, thank you, sir. Wendy. Present teacher. Je Jenny Suleima. And Yesenia Lisette Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Okay, here we go now. Remember that you are going to share your idea with the class and we are going to discuss. So let us do it now.
Okay, let me let me see how you are dealing with the time. Do you need more? Hello? Teacher, we need more time. Okay, but at the end I need to see results. I'm going to give you more time, but I need to see results. At the moment that I ask you to show, to present, you have to do it, okay? I don't want to hear at the end, es que no entendimos. No, 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 tell me now, please. I, see, I see your work. Yes. Okay, you are doing well. Teacher, y esta corrección, el to have or el most? Ah, yeah, the they, they may requirement mass to experience. Yeah, because it's something that uh, is kind of mandatory. Deberíamos de cambiarlo. En, en dos oraciones le aparece igual. Ah, pero es que aquí tenía dos veces. They had, no, they had to have. ¿Cómo, cómo está esto aquí? <risa> ¿En cuál, perdón? En la nueve. Aquí, claro, por eso aquí, el, aquí, aquí sí le era válido el. el, el El, la corrección, they must have, y él le quita el to para que no le parezca they had to have. En la número 8, entonces. La 9. En la 9. Sí, aquí. They have to. No. Es que ayer, en un día de estos solo estaba. They must. 
they might have good communication. Ay, desaparece el tú, dijo, ¿verdad? Perdón. Sí, sí, porque después de más no puede ir el tú. Sí. They meet with firemen. Ahí hay que darle como más sentido. They meet requirement. They meet requirement. How to experience. Tal vez sería de, uh, they meet requirement that show experience. Porque aquí eh, lo... que, que demuestren, que demuestren, que demuestren que tienen experiencia. Sí, ese es lo, 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 lo que queremos poner. Ah, ok. They, they meet requirement that show experience. Que demuestre that show. Quita el más de ahí. Show. Oh. Antes de eso le falta uh, de mi requirement that, that. Antes de eso, that, T H, ah, ok, that show experience. Ahí está. Y show no se escribe cierto, teacher. No, así está bien. Ok. Sí, yo creo que ahí eh, solo el, en el capability. Creo que es el espacio, por eso es que le da así. Bueno, ahí lo, ahí lo, ahí lo, lo ajustan. Ni tú hubiese sido que hubiese ido a la tabla así, pero no hay problema, ahí está. Okay. Porque eh, acuérdate que en las opciones va yes and no. Ah, oh, sí, 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 sí. sí. Bueno, por ahí ya, les vamos dejo. a ver si lo podemos meter a una tablita. Ok, por ahí les dejo la idea. Sí, gracias. Tiene que ser en tabla entonces. Sí. No necesariamente, puede mostrarlo así. Es una sugerencia simple. Pero si ustedes consideran de que no, así lo pueden dejar. Ah. Es una sugerencia nada más. La adquisición digital basada en la nube que ayuda a las empresas a ejecutar procesos de adquisición a lo largo de todo el ciclo de adquisición a pago. Viene con funciones dedicadas que incluyen la gestión de proveedores, pero también puede cubrir la gestión de órdenes de compras y solicitudes de compra, la gestión facturas y mucho más. Nunca la había escuchado en mi vida, pero es nueva para mí. Sí, también igual. Ajá, porque no ve de adquisición que es flow, a ver, de dónde sacaron eso, pero bueno, ese, ese es el concepto. Uh -huh. Bueno, ponemos ese, en inglés. Ajá, porque en inglés no lo puedo decir, pero en español sí lo puedo leer. Nada, nada, para en inglés. Yo, teacher. <ríe> Ay, sí, ahí está el teacher. No oh, lo veo, teacher, pero ya oí su voz. Ajá. ¿Y qué es lo que the document that you are going to show us. ¿Ya lo tienen? No, ya está en ese piso. El documento que van a compartirnos. No. Hay que lo van a compartir. Claro, si hay que mostrarlo al resto de la clase. Ah, pues así no lo tenemos, dice, solo va en el cuaderno. No. Sí. Ah, no, no, sí tiene que tenerlo. Esa era la... la la consigna ya no, ya no tenemos tanto tiempo que es queda poco tiempo. teacher yo soy del te, desde el celular mm. yo también teacher 
Bueno, ahí ustedes nos dirán cómo van a mostrarnos entonces. Okay, tell me. Are you ready? Or not? Just tell me, but be honest. If you can hear me. Yes. Okay. Okay, I would like to know if you are ready or not. Just tell me, yes, teacher, we are ready uh, or no, because this, but I need to, to, to hear something. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, ok. So, dos grupos. Espero que no pertenezcan al mismo. Or maybe you, you are not in the same. Ok. I got four different groups. What about the, the rest? Let me see, I'm going to ask for directly to the point. Okay, let me see. Carlos Escobar. Eh, Jose Jonathan, Zaira, Wendy. Number two, Diana, Eric, Laura, Maria. Number three, Juan Carlos. Selena is listener, Maria, Yesenia. And number four, Ana Beatriz, Ana Lilian, that is listener. Oh, Mario's listener too, and Misael. My goodness. Um, well, let us see what you have. And based on that, we are going to continue. Who wants to start? Okay, let us start with group number four. Let me see who is. Number four is. No. Number four is Ana Beatriz, Ana Lilian, Mario Ernesto, and Misael. Okay, let us see what you have. Here we go. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so the, these are the ideas that we we write down. Okay. Uh, one, they have enough transportation fleet. They have complete and adequate documentation. They have more than five years of experience. They have insurance in case of any damage. They have a consultant available. Quality management system documentation ISO 901 standard. They wow. have private security with transportation monitoring. They have some environmental certification, qualified personnel to transport and handle products. They have gas station association for transportation. Oh, okay, any question? The rest? 
or the classmate. Living that way because maybe somebody is going to ask you something related with that. Okay, remember that we are going to discuss. Somebody has a question. No? No questions? Everything okay. Okay, thank you, Misael and your team. I don't know, I, I was thinking that you are are going to ask some question, but well, let me see the next group is Misael, give me a number from one to three, please. From one to three. Um number number two. Number two, Diana, Eric, Laura, Maria, Elena. Tell us. Sorry, give me a second, please. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, this is the checklist uh, oh. we made about uh, a triple must have. Okay. So the first one is the pricing. So we expect that the company have a good structure of cost that we can handle. And we also want that they are a true partner, uh, someone who follows uh, I don't know how we say valores, values, or values, yes. and and our vision, okay. and also uh, yeah, we want that this triple have the expectation of performance. Uh, at the beginning, we're going to uh, to tell them what what we want uh, or what we expect about the service that they that we're going to contract. Okay. And also we want the IT security. This means that uh, uh, they were going to, they are going to be managing information about our customers. So we want that they have IT security and they can, uh, and they have the systems uh, to complete this, this task. And also we want that they can customize a contract. Uh, for example, there are some triples that uh, they work uh, with a minimum of uh, shipment, for example. So we want that uh, the service that we acquire uh, hand, uh, fits with our, uh, our needs. And also we want the communications uh, this means that we want the, uh, a good communication uh, about our product and the trustability of the the tracking of the oh we are uh, shipping and also they they have to be focused on customer satisfaction. And we don't want someone who only do their work uh, for money. We want someone who, who cares about the customer satisfaction. The company's uh, stability, this means, uh, this, this includes the reference about the 3PL. And we don't want that the company uh, uh, were new on market. We want something to, uh, we want a company who is verified that works well. The location, 
uh, we want a tropial who who is near from our customers and from us. And it's not necessary that they have a lead certification. And also, and finally, they have the equipment necessary to, to do their job, like pallets or trucks, things like that. Okay, thank you very much. It is very clear, thank you. Okay. Um, give me a number, one or three. Three. Okay, number three. Let me see who is it. Let me see number three, Juan Carlos, Maria Concepcion, Yesenia Lisset. It is your turn, tell us. Okay, teacher. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes. Okay. We choose, um, well, this is a lot of information. Um, but, uh, estuvimos de acuerdo. Que tengan, well, no, English. <laughs> they have price competitive the technology background they have technology background they have inventory management custody of a stock they have inventory analysis extern uh, only this four because eh estamos leyendo mucho solo esa ficha no sé si va a agregar algo más, mis compañeros. Okay, let us see what they say. Hello, classmate. Are you going to add uh, more information related with this topic? Uh, the reduction, the reduction, uh, the cost, the logistic cost. Uh, the level peaks when order volumes vary is at minimum. Uh, reduce capital employees and logistic process and increase process flexibility and shorten response times. It's only that teacher. Okay. You remember when we talk about checklists, uh, it is necessary that we can share the image of the document in order to have a better idea. But don't imagine, worry. teacher, imagine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We are going just to imagine your checklist. Okay, no problem. Okay, number one is your turn. Let me see. Number one is Carlos Escobar, Jose Jonathan, Zaira, Wendy. Okay, let us see what you have. Yes, teacher. We add uh, a few items. Uh, oh, okay, okay. It, it is, uh, they meet required that show experience. They must have good communication. They are recon recognized and recognized by others. They meet required to, ha to have the punctuality. The, mo the most be responsibility, responsibility the transportation, the product. Uh, in the in all we say yes the, uh, all consider the is very important okay see 
Wendy o Laura quieren comentar algo. Ok, let us hear them. No. Okay, thank you very much. I, I guess that uh, all of you got uh, an idea how to do something like that, that, like a checklist, you know? And that is very important because that is the main purpose that we have. I, I don't know, I remember I show you something related with that. Of course, you did uh, really well. Let me... Let me show you in a in a in a brief way. Do you remember? Uh, I guess I share with you this information. Maybe uh, the main topic that you are going to consider uh, at the moment that you are going to make uh, or create a checklist for choosing a, a 3PL and qualifying also has to do with. I'm sorry, let me see what's happening here. How to do with, uh, with location. I remember we talked about this. With size of the building, number of bay door. Of course, you got your own idea. Just what I'm doing is just trying to refresh your memory. You talk about equipment too, and pallet and, and four leaf. And that is pretty good. I like that. What else? Let me see. What do we have about staffing? Some of you take into account this step too. Let me see what else. Communication. Yeah, Eric Eric's mentioned something related with this. Let me see what else, qualification. Well, let me see how long in the business. Okay, some of you mentioned that uh, you don't want a new business. And what else? Compliancy, I don't know if somebody took into account Something related with this, a true pattern. Yeah, you took into account too. Well, I guess that you got a good idea related with this. Okay, congrats to all of you because you did a great job. Okay, in order to continue, I invite you. To go to page number, let me see, 16, I guess is the number. Yes, it is number 16. But before to show you this, I need to create. Let me see how many groups do we have now. Uh, we, we got four, okay. You are going to work with the same uh, group. And in the order that you are, for example, Carlos, Jonathan, Saira, Wendy, you are uh, group number one. That you are going to focus in question number one. Number two, Diana, Eric, Laura, and Maria Elena. Question number two, Juan Carlos Rivas, Maria Concepcion, and Yesenia. Question number three, and Ana Beatriz, Ana Lilian, and Misael. Question number four, what I'm talking about. Let me show you this. Remember that we are making a kind of review. I need that you go back to page number 16. 
Yeah, let me see here. Yeah, it is 16. I don't know if you if you got the material. You have if you have it. What you are going to do is that, that you are going to read the excerpts of our, our tips that successful retailer implement. Then you are going based on the reading, you are going to answer the comprehension question below. I don't know if you have it. Or how can I do in order that maybe it's going to be difficult in that, that you make a screenshot because, yeah, I guess you can do it. Okay, you got it there. Let me see. Teacher, is the, mat the, the material? Yes, it is in pay, uh, on page number 16. Let me see how we are going to do. Let me see. Okay, let me do this. And also, uh, group number one is going to present us until here. You are going to read it and you are going to explain these two, these two terms. Group number two, let me see. Now, hold on, hold on a second, because if I got only just, I got five. Okay, this is number four. This is number four. This is number three. This one is gonna be number two. And this one is number one. Number two has to explain us This one. And number one is this, number two, number three. It is knowing and number four, uh, shifting a star inventory. I don't know if you got what I'm saying. Yes or no? What, what you can do is just, uh, well, I'm going to let you do it. And also, every group is going to answer uh, one question. This is for group one, group two, group three, and group four, okay? I guess it's better uh, just that you read it and give me the answer because of the time that we have now, okay? Okay, try to read it uh, in a general way and just look for the answers. Cause of the time. Okay, here we go.
Teacher, me acercó. ¿Me puede volver a meter al grupo? Let me see if I can. Group number. Con Eric. Uh, number four, I guess it's Eric. No, no. Yes, number four. Number four. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, because of the time, um, I hope you got the answer. Who wants to answer? Okay, let me choose from group one. I'm going to choose the person that is going to answer the question number one. Let me see. Maria Elena. Can you hear me? Yes. Give me a number from one to four. Three. Number three in group number one is Aida Marlene Larin. Could you give us the answer to the question, please? Question number one. Oh. Okay, teacher. Why, why are scheduling time limit and deadlines important to retailer? Why can help make retailer stay focused and on a schedule? Eliminating extra time is spent where it shouldn't be. Okay, that is the reason why 
are especially in time limits. And deadline important to a retailer. Okay, do you agree with her answer? The answer is can help make retailer stay focused in on a schedule. Ah, okay, okay. They are important because they help retailer stay focused on and on a schedule. Okay, thank you very much. Number two, question number two. Um, Saira, give me a number from one to three, please. Number, number two. Number two is Eric Orlando Diaz. Hello, Jane is, is going to talk for the group. Ah, okay. Hello. I think she's in the bathroom. <laughs> but, Maybe. We're, but we're going to talk about the question number two. Why do sales become strong when retailers invest in training employees? This is, uh, this is related with uh, the knowledge of the product. If the employee knows a lot of the specifications, for example, of the product, they're going to be uh, more capable to to sell and and see the, the customer need need needings in order to offer them a good product. Okay, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. As soon as they, uh, the employees become a strong associated, they are going to result with uh, a strong sales. Okay. Give me a number from one to three, uh, Eric. Yeah, one. one. Juan Carlos Rivas, Jovel. The answer to question number three, please. Uh, number three. Yes. Okay, let me see. What is a good way to get to know the competition? <clears throat> uh, is the knowing the competition teacher? Uh, it's allowed retailers to recognize new industry trends, missed opportunities, new strategies to compete for sales and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. And you know, with the comp competition is a priority. priority, priority. Is, is the best good way is the good way to get to know the competition. What about analyze the trends, the missed opportunities, uh, the new strategies to compete for sales? Okay, give me a number from one to four, please. Number two. Number two. He's a listener. Okay, number four. Number four. <laughs> yeah, okay. Santo Misael, it's your turn. I'm sorry. Uh, number four. How do retail become able to effectively buy inventory for their stores? According to the reading, they use a shifting store inventory strategy that is based on um, moving the product from one store to other to to get more customers. 
Okay. They need to listen to customers and also react to trends, you know? And also uh, they need to be very close with vendors and respond to them what they want, you know? And that way it's gonna be better. Okay, I'm sorry for the time. Let me check out the attendance again. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your participation. That is the way that you need to do, you know, in that way you are going to develop your skills. Okay, antes de pasar la lista, quienes están todavía pendientes de algunas actividades de que están en el en el rango de tiempo, por favor, pedirles que las hagamos para ir a, eh, actualizando ese cuadro de notas. Que no nos vaya a tomar el tiempo al final. Ok, Adriana. It's not here. Ok, Ana Beatriz. La otra cosa antes de que se me olvide, recuerden el 80% de asistencia, cada quien debe de a estas alturas, eh, los que han eh, faltado, por favor, ya lleven la contabilidad de cuántas eh, faltas tienen, para que así al final no hayan malos entendidos. En mi caso, lo único que hago es pasar la lista y dejar registro de quién asistió y quién no asistió. Les digo esto porque a veces algunos tienen eh, algunas ideas diferentes. Y entonces en mi caso solo, solo es eso lo que tengo que hacer. El resto lo hace el personal administrativo. ¿no? Ok, uh, Ana Lilian ya está. Reyes, uh, ok, Escobar. Selina. Diana. Present. Okay, Eric. Present. Okay, Jose Jonathan. Present. Juan Carlos. Present. Laura. Present, teacher. Maria Concepcion. Present. Maria Elena. Present. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Eh, Zaira. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Ok, Wendy. Jenny. Yesenia. Present teacher. Ok, Yesenia. Bueno, ahí tengo dos, tres que no ya tienen. Con esta ya son cuántas seguidas? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Vamos a ver. Bueno. Ok, and let me see. I'm sorry for the time. Uh, who's number 15? Let me see. Mayra Veralice Moreno. It's not here, Mayra. No. Ok. A ella le correspondía el uno a uno el día de hoy, pero no está. I'm sorry. For... Ok. Ok. Thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. No evening. It's good night. Okay, Anna Lillian, are you there? Bye bye. Take care. Night night. Okay, bye bye.